Welcome to the Haunted Console. My name is Clayton, and this is a buddy fight deck profile on my Dragon Knights. My buddy is, of course, Dragon Knight Richard. Let's go ahead and get started. First up is Dragon Knight Napoleon. He is a size 3, 9k, 3 critical, 7k. His call cost of 3 gauge allows him to have the ability. When he enters the field, you may call a size 2 Dragon Knight from your drop zone by paying its call cost. That card becomes a size 0 and as long as Dragon Knight Napoleon is on the field. Finishing up the size 3s is Dragon Knight Geronimo. He's 1k, 2 critical, and 7k. His call cost of paying 3 gauge and putting the top card of your deck into his soul allows him to have soul guard alongside his double attack. He also gains 1k power for each Dragon Knight in your drop zone. Moving on to the size 2s, we have Dragon Knight Richard, my buddy. He has 4k, 2 critical, and 4k. His ability also allows, whenever there's 4 or more different Dragon Knights in the grave, for him to gain 4k power and defense. Next up, we have Dragon Knight Vlad Dracula. He has 5k, 0 critical, and 5k. His call cost of 3 gauge allows him to have the ability that he gains 1 critical for each Dragon Knight in your grave, up to the max of 6. Finishing out the size 2s is Dragon Knight Iwamoto. He has 3k, 3 critical, and 3k. His ability, if you have another Dragon Knight on the field, you may tap him and destroy a monster on your opponent's side. Starting out the size 1s is Dragon Knight Saito. He has 5k, 1 critical, and 4k. Next up is Dragon Knight Musashi. He has 5k, 2 critical, and 3k, as well as the summoning condition that you have to have a Dragon Knight in your drop zone. Finishing out the monsters in the deck is Dragon Knight El Quixote. He has 2k, 2 critical, and 2k, as well as the ability that when you deal direct damage with him to your opponent, you put the top card of your deck into your gauge. Moving on to items, I run one copy of Calvary Dragon Hyperion. He has 7k power and 2 critical. His equip cost of 2 gauge and the stipulation that you cannot call monsters other than Dragon Knights allows that whenever he attacks and destroys an opponent's monster or deals damage to your opponent, you gauge one card from the top of your deck. Finishing out the items is Steelfish Dragon Knuckle. It has 2k power and 2 critical. It's equip cost of pay 1 life and has the effect of... Whenever it deals damage to your opponent, you put the top card of your deck into the gauge, as well as the counter ability during its battle, you may pay one gauge, and if you do that for this battle, this card gains 2k power. Moving on to spells, we have a Calvary Academy. It's a set spell that has the cast cost of pay one gauge, and all Dragon Knights on your field get plus 1k power and defense. Next up, we have Knight Energy. It's a counter spell. Choose a Dragon Knight in battle, and for this battle, it gains plus 3k power and defense and counter attack. Continuing on with our counter spells, we have Dragon Barrier. For this turn, the next time a size 2 or greater monster on your field would be destroyed, that monster remains on the field. Following those same lines, we have Drago Bond. You may only cast this card if you do not have a monster in the center. And choose a monster on your field. During this turn, the next time that monster would be destroyed, gain 2 life, and you may prevent it from leaving the field. Moving on to our shields, we have Green Dragon Shield. You can only play this card if you have no monster in the center, and its ability nullify the attack and gain 1 life. Finishing out the deck, we have Blue Dragon Shield. Again, you cannot have a monster in the center and nullify the attack and put the top card of your deck into your gauge. That wraps it up for this deck profile. Thank you for watching the Haunted Console, and please like and subscribe to show your support. Have a spooky weekend.